Hello everyone, this is Amanita. So in our pick a pile reading today, we're doing messages for the heart and soul. So I have four piles this time, and in the first pile, this is a piece of raw chateau kite. This is a calligraphy stone sphere. This is a reindeer earring and a gray feather. So the timestamps will be in the description and I will see you in your pile. Also, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who watches the video and likes, comments, interacts with it in any way. I am very grateful for that. And I'll see you guys in your pile. Hello to everyone who chose this raw chateau kite. So these are the messages for your heart and soul. So we have magic. The frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond this moment and to move towards possibilities and expressions that are as grand and profound as we can imagine. All that is required is our belief in their manifestation. So right now you might be really expanding the way that you're viewing things. You might be believing more in miracles happening. You might be even literally practicing magic or maybe thinking about getting into some sort of magical practice yourself right now but I'm seeing that you're really moving beyond the logical you're moving beyond possibilities and expressions you're really um, things might be happening in your life or you might be trying things that you never viewed were possible in any way and you never thought could happen and it's just magic happening right before your eyes right now and number 31 equals 4 so it's a it's a change in like the structure of your reality the way that you're viewing your reality is in a more magical sense So for some people, this might have to do with a new relationship or ending a past relationship. There might, some of you, you might have someone who's come into your life and the connection might feel very magical. It might feel like you've known this person forever, or you've known this person before, or that you guys really complete something in each other. And that, at this time, you're really feeling more confident now because you've been given something or you've been given something here you've been giving been given a lot of gifts from the universe and that might even be in this in the form of a person that really feels like it completes you something feeling like it's really completing you for some people this is about your sexuality and you're coming out more about your sexuality so we have the Miriam sacred vision choose to forgive in order to heal see the light in all remember that love has no boundaries so for a lot of people I am seeing this as your sexuality um, especially so you might be coming more into your own sense of how you sexually express yourself or your own um, creativity really too it's like whatever it is you're creating something whether this is with a person or not but you might have a connection with someone right now that really feels like you guys are very close and you guys know each other very well there are a lot of distractions around me right now but it, it is like there's a lot of distractions but this thing that you're doing or this person that you're with really helps you to find a sense of stability in this all this chaos happening the miriam which means the beloved are twin flame angels who come as one they're mere images of each other they're angels who appear to mary magdalene in the tomb of jesus after his passing these angels spoke directly to mary and helped her move beyond her grief so she was able to commune with Jesus once more. They can help us move beyond the cloud of grief. They heal grievances of any kind, including ones that have been created by religion or the idea that God does not love or accept us because of a mistake we have once made. 
Then Miriam help us remember that we don't need to ask God for forgiveness because he never condemned us in the first place. So there is a, a, a sense of healing going on because you are moving beyond old and past limitations and you're seeing things in a new way. You have golden calcite. Time to take it easy as new ideas are coming in. Be prepared as doors are opening. The guardians shielding defense warning. You are ascending. So we have you moving above a lot of past limitations right now and definitely. And in the past, these were things that really got you down, that really weighed on your confidence, that really weighed on your ability to function in this life. But at this time, whatever it is that you found, I am seeing it for a lot of people, it has to do with the relationship or with your sexuality in some way, where in the past it's been something that you, you felt like you really need to not express yourself as who you are because of for some reason maybe someone has told you that who you are is wrong in some way but now you're seeing things in a whole new way and you're really seeing your magic and you're seeing all that you have to give and all to share with the world all that is because there's a lot of healing going on it's a lot of um like emotional heartache that kept you from really being you it kept you from being in your true expression and you've really been working on this for a long time now to get to this point and there is a sense that you you are being very protected right now and it's time for you to come out and be you and express yourself as all that you are you're really moving beyond these limitations there's a lot of magic happening in your life right now and maybe in the form of a person coming in for you as this is a general reading, I can't uh, particularly say that's for everyone, but this is a missing part of yourself that is coming together. And if it is a person coming in, it's just a physical reflection of the fact that you've made something whole in yourself, that you've linked these, these two parts of yourself as one. And that's why it's, you do really need to go easy on yourself for all that you've been through. You're having new opportunities and you're having new visions come in and it's time to forgive so that you can heal and so that you can move on, you know, retreat from anything that is, like don't be too harsh on yourself basically. Don't be too hard on yourself for anything that's happening in your life right now that's uncomfortable. We have star courts, perception, birth seed and gateway. So all your perceptions are changing right now. And you know this in your heart and soul that you're seeing the world in a whole new way. You're being given new, a new found um, light in, in your consciousness and how you view yourself and your self-expression and in your relationships. It's just a whole new way of living in general, seeing things in a whole new manner. And because you're seeing things in a new manner, you have new new opportunities opening up for you. You're ready to really step into a new chapter of your life and you're ready, you're feeling more motivated now. You're feeling more motivated to give to the world what you have to offer. Seeing the light in all, seeing that love has no boundaries, seeing the magic in the world, believing in yourself and believing in magic and believing that you can do this and seeing above now you're seeing a clear picture of those things that kept you chained in the past. But there is this sense to still take it easy and to shield. We have Neptune energy. Um, recently, if you're watching this recently that I uploaded it, Neptune just went direct, so a lot of, we're all kind of coming out of certain illusions and seeing things in a more clear sense at this time, things that we've been really working on for a long time. So Neptune does have to do with spirituality, like um, anything that isn't very tangible, Neptune's very foggy and elusive, 
So it's something that you can't quite see for yourself right now, and it's landing on golden calcite, so it's like you don't know what's coming for you. It's foggy to you, but there is something coming for you. And Neptune has to do with spirituality, it has to do with compassion, it also has to do with addictions. But I'm seeing this as Neptune being a foggy influence for you, seeing these clouds too, that it's time to really take it easy and not push things right now, not force anything, because it's time to really be prepared for new doors that are opening that you're not aware of at this moment. It's very foggy what it is exactly. Because there is a sense of still a bit of cloud in this reading. There's some magical energy, but there's that sense of not quite seeing clearly in the physical reality. Tenth house has to do with your public your public status, your reputation, your career, what you're seen and what you're known for. It has to do with authorities. So these can be things that are, you have this new way of living, new way of perceiving, in the sense of how you're viewing the outer world, the world outside of you, how you see yourself, your place in society. Maybe not filling roles that you felt like you had to play in the past, but really stepping into your own true personal power, aligning all those parts of yourself that had been fragmented and perceiving it all in a whole new way. And Libra has to do with balance. Libra has to do with relationships. So this really can have to do with a relationship in your life, a relationship coming in that feels that's really magical feeling or I mean for some this is a relationship ending a relationship but coming into a relationship with yourself in a whole new way but in either way there's this sense of balance there's this sense of harmony for you right now saturn is the same kind of as the 10th house thing it has to do with your structures so you're kind of ascending you're seeing above the old structures and limitations that you had placed yourself in. So you've been really learning something in the sense of your perception and in your reality, in your physical world. You're really coming, breaking free and coming out of those old structures and creating new ones, more healthy ones, more ones in a line for you right now for yourself. Aries energy has to do with action. You also had Libra, which is the opposite of Aries, but Aries has to do with action, it has to do with assertion, it's that I am presence. So this is you coming into that I am presence of, you know, this is me, this is what I want, and this is what I do. Um, but also it's a balance though um, between you and others, because we also had Libra. So it's not like you're only coming into the I am presence, you're also very um, aware of other people and other people's needs, but you're really allowing yourself that time and space for yourself though and your own needs and your own truth and your own what you need and your, what you have to do what you want in your life so and you might be aligning with people who have like of a like mind of someone with a like mind and 12th house energy has to do with your dreams your creativity your illusions your imagination it has to do with loss it has to do with your undoing so this is really a time of seclusion though and isolation though at some point for you to come into this new perception and to come into this new understanding because i'm seeing that in the past you've been shielding that you've been on defense that you've been guarded that you had to take this time to yourself to heal and to see things in a new way so that you could come into this union with yourself or with another and really see the magic in life and to be able to create the reality that you came here to create, to find your stability, and to find your confidence, to find your courage. Or um, for some of you, this is you aligning, like this is actually someone in your life that you're finding someone who brings you a sense of security, or someone who brings in this confidence in your life in some way. And you bring the opposite to them. So whichever, if you're more grounding, or if you're more of the, that confidence factor, you guys kind of do this for each other, fulfill that part that is 
from missing, although this is in within you though. This already is within you. I'd like everyone to know that right now, that you don't have to rely on anyone outside of you to complete a part of you in any way. This is just, if someone has come in, that this is a physical representation of something that is done internally in your time of seclusion. And I wanted to make that very clear, so. But overall, changing how you're perceiving, having a new vision of life, forgiving, healing, um, you're starting, you're coming out of the closet, whether that's literally, like you're actually, like you're not um, coming out of the closet as in being you 100%. That doesn't have to do with your sexuality. That doesn't have to do with relationships, but you're coming out of the closet basically is what I'm saying here. And you're seeing the magic in life, perceiving a whole new way, and that's what I have for you guys. We have like, I mean, there's not much air energy in general in this, but we do have kind of all the elements in here. And that's what I have for you guys. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you everyone for watching. Email me for a personal reading and I'll see Hello everyone who chose this calligraphy stone sphere. So let's see what messages we have for your heart and soul. So we have number 34, passion. The frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies the hidden gem of insight, balance, and calm. It assists us in finding the balance within this intensity, moving us from chaos to the, to the calm of its core, where we can let its long-lasting wisdom fill us up. So what I'm seeing for you guys is that I am seeing like the goddess, her name is Vesta, she's the goddess of the home the hearth that inner flame that spiritual flame so you're kind of right now harnessing this spiritual flame that you're really keeping alive in yourself right now beneath all the chaos beneath all that is this everlasting inner flame and this everlasting inner fire that never stops burning that you keep alive discover really discovering these passions for yourself also orange energy so maybe you're connecting with others more maybe you're being uh, getting into your creativity maybe getting into your sexuality more maybe getting into you know sacral energy in general very fiery energy for you coming into you you're so you're really kind of exploring you're really um, Feeling the richness of life. I really feel this rich, like, in vitalizing feeling right now. It's very freedom, independent energy. Because you have been through a lot. You've definitely, so the worst has already come, and it's really time that you're moving on now and finding your passion and finding, you know, discovering things that bring you that sense of, um, that really ignite your inner flame, you know. So it's like it's been a long and hard journey. It's been. But you found you have a, you have the sense of protection around you. You do have the sense of protection. Uh, the, whatever this was has really taught you to be strong in yourself. Oh, this is exactly what I was talking about. But she's the one she's the Celtic goddess um, Brigid. But in um, Roman, is it Roman Vesta? Is uh, Roman, but this is Bridget. It's that inner flame. Bridget, inner strength. Move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. So whatever, something had happened here that really, uh, you had to go through this whole lesson where you had to really discover your inner power, your inner flame, and your inner passion. Discover it. And... It's been a long journey, like I said. Move back into wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. So like, this is you right now. And if this isn't you right now, this is what you are coming into being. You're coming into being the warrior queen, the queen of wands. She's confident. She's assertive. She's a, she's a great mentor. She's like a boss. She's really sexy. She's really, um, she's really, you know, she's just confident. She just does her thing. She just does her freaking thing. Okay, let's read about Bridget. Bridget 
is a Celtic goddess of Ireland who is closely associated with the fire in the time of spring. She is the twin flame of Sir, uh, Sir, Sir, uh, Sir Nanos. Sorry if that is not the correct. I don't know how to pronounce that. I've read it so many times, but I've never said it. Anyway. She was so well loved by the Celtic people that when Christianity came to Ireland, she was adopted as a saint of the holy wells and other holy places. She's a powerful figure who can help us channel our energy into something that is important for our growth. And as she herself has lasted through the ages, she has longevity to our journey so that we can reach a deep state of wholeness. You can call on her to bring your sacred flames to burn away anything that's not serving you, to bless any new projects you have in mind, and for support with the fertility. So you're really channeling this energy into your passion right now. You're discovering what your passions are and gaining this resilience for yourself, gaining this longevity to not burn out your fire because this isn't the warrior 10, this is the warrior nine. So this is um, the nine of fire. So he's not burned out yet. Um, he's keeping that sustained, so you're really keeping that sustained right now. So we have La Ramar. Remembrance. All goes around in cycles of time. Someone from your past reappears with an answer. Ice Queen. Introspection, self-analysis, and fortitude. And nurture your physical body. So... This has ended. So, okay. There might be a teacher or someone coming in for you, or that has come in for you in some way to, because you're really trying to discover, right now you're really searching for this true passion. And I really feel like there's like someone in your life or someone coming in that's going to aid you in this this might be an ice queen coming in for you like a woman or man this doesn't have to be a queen it can be a man someone who really is kind of a master of their craft and they can they really know what's going on like they and they can kind of see you as like this young disciple coming in is this wait maybe this is someone from your past actually this ice queen coming in who's going to reappear in some way. Someone who's like very kind of logical, who really um, is kind of knows what they want, knows themselves, a very sharp person in your life. But, you know, even though this person is sharp, they are, they care. They care, they really care, but they are sharp. And like really focused on these dolphins. So I'm, I am thinking like for some people this is connecting with like really ancient kind of stuff really ancient not like I'm just thinking about uh, like ancient Lumeria for some reason she's holding this crystal wand so you might be like a magical practitioner in some way or discovering that for yourself you might be working with crystals or working with animals, working with telepathy because we have the dolphins healing work, um, doing work with your hands, where you're doing healing with your hands. With the physical body. This can be working, doing, learning like a passion that has to do with your hands or like with your body, something that you do that involves your physical body. Or like you have a tool of some sort that you're holding. We have right here like this, be like a snake. Like, you know, there. Uh, this can be very literal. This can be like some sort of yoga, like kundalini yoga, especially with seeing that in there. Um, all right, let's see. Obsidian, reflection, retrieving the soul. This can also be something so you've been doing this, so you've been retrieving your soul here. You've been coming into wholeness. You've been finding your inner strength and you've been finding your inner passions and you've been discovering what this all means for you. So something I am feeling too is this thing that you're doing is something that 
you're very passionate about that you want to share with other people so it's like to um, explore this more for yourself explore this more and um, smorgasbord smorgasbord what does that mean I don't know look up that um, anyway so we have retrieving the soul so you're coming back into wholeness here but this is something that you might be very interested in helping other people with in some way and attracting other people into your life right now who really reflect that inner passion of yourself and drawing those people in right now so this this uh there's just this need pay attention to you know keep doing this passion of yours keep discovering and um of course nurture your physical body is if if you're someone who has like has struggled with any sort of thing having to do with your physical body where it's physical or mental you know eating disorders or if it has to do with like a physical condition like um i am feeling like though if there's something that you're looking at that has to do with your hands to keep looking into that like whether it has to do whether it's like acupuncture um like reiki drawing even i'm feeling like that's going to be something important like some sort of healing modality for you right now to help you move on from from what has occurred here your so yeah your soul is just your heart and soul really telling you to keep going after this passion to keep discovering and to keep to keep doing this thing keep working on this so because we have more dolphins coming in there's something about dolphins dolphins uh pleiades healing the water going with the flow i'm not sure right now why the, why are there dolphins and then i also see these birds so we have the sea and and the air the flight and water so the mind and the emotions so kind of uh, bringing the mind and the the heart and the mind and the wholeness to linking those two together like the animals are like going like that linking so time good time for introspection there really might be someone coming in for you though that is going to assist you in this process We have you holding stuff in your hands here a lot so okay we have Capricorn energy which has to do with hard work it has to do with discipline it has to do with structure it has to do with like authority figures moon energy has to do with your instincts your mother sometimes has to do with what makes you feel emotionally secure and emotionally comfortable this can even be your mother it's something to do with your mother but this is like, um, okay, second house energy has to do with your resources, your finances, your self-worth, and your self-value. So there is a need for introspection to find what, what to you, what do you value and how much you're worth, what do you have to use, like what are your resources that you have? Because there is a focus too on like what you have to offer, what you have to use, what resources you have um what are you capable of doing energy like your your needs too what your needs are physically and emotionally so in yeah so we need these are focusing on your needs physically and emotionally making sure that there's a wholeness in between the two of them Scorpio energy has to do with the skeletons in the closet. So this might not even be a person, someone from your past. This might be something from the past coming up that that is needed to be healed, um, that wasn't healed in the past. I'm, I am feeling that for you, for some of you, okay? Um, ninth house energy has to do with your beliefs. It has to do with your religions, philosophies. It has to do with like spirituality, 
and higher knowledge and higher education. So that's why there might be some sort of mentor, some sort of teacher coming in for you too. This might be uh, changing up your beliefs, changing up your philosophies, your spirituality a bit in some way. One that's more conductive of what truly is what you value. Venus energy has to do with relationships, partnerships, beauty, love, affection, attraction, harmony, all that kind of stuff. So maybe this is tapping, tapping in to more of your own feminine wisdom and your own feminine nature or someone, a female coming in, a relationship coming in with someone that's going to help you do this in some way. Something around though, your attraction, um, the nature of your attraction of how you can attract things to you. And let's see if there's any other messages that I have for you today. Overall, I'm, I'm seeing just this need to come into wholeness by something that needs to be healed coming up for you and um, really bringing this into balance, bringing this into wholeness, bringing this into harmony, reconciling all this, and uh, you know, bringing the, the heart and the mind into balance, the body, the body and the spiritual nature, physical and the spiritual nature together into wholeness, and to probably um, also do something with that too. But you're still in the process of discovering, so it's just time to focus on discovering these things um, and not jumping too ahead of yourself as well. So that's what I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching, everyone. Please comment on the video, and I'll see you next Hello, everyone who chose this reindeer. So let's see the messages that we have for your heart and soul. So we have alchemy number eight. The frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we hold inside. Each of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation. So finding the power within and knowing that you have the power within yourself to transmute anything and not needing to look outside of yourself to find something that's gonna tell you what to do or how to do it because you know that you have the tools within with alchemy, remembering the magic that you hold inside to transmute. Maybe like doing some real alchemy in your life right now where you are actually literally having to change one thing to another, but this um, also can have to do with like uh, really transmuting any sort of negative energy into seeing things in a different way and changing up your perception a bit in some way. Whatever plane that this is on, whatever plane of this reality, you'll be doing alchemy connection. Dancer six. Dancer three. So this is very joyful energy. This is very fun. This is very connected. So you might be connecting with um, whether this is people more or this doesn't have to be people. This can be like, um, this can be you getting into like fairy realm stuff. You can be talking to your guides more. You can be talking to other beings or you know, getting getting a more sense of connection. Uh, for some of you, you're connecting with some, from your, when you were a child, you had an imaginary friend and you're connecting with them again. That can be, that can be something for some of you. But this is like remembering that childlike nature in yourself and finding that joy in yourself. Um, despite anything around you that is trying to hold you down, you're finding this enjoyment. Um, and with, with people, finding your tribe, finding people in your life, or there's a need to find these people in your life right now, to find these people who have this inner child in them too, and just have a good time, have a good time with people. We have Maker 10, Holy Amethyst, Divine Alchemy. Move beyond current challenges, focus on what you desire more alchemy. So I'm going to read you Holy Amethyst. Holy Amethyst is the twin flame of Archangel Zadkiel, the angel who helps us transmute negative experiences into love and learning. 
He is the keeper of the violet flame and helps us release anything that is no longer serving us. Holy Amethyst enables us to look over our past fears and challenges and draw wisdom and learning from them. Unlike Zadkiel, for many years, she was not mentioned in spiritual texts. I believe this was because of her miraculous support was not needed on the earth as it is now. To connect deeply with her light, hold her namesake crystal, Amethyst. So, you're finding more joy in your life. You're finding more abundance in your life. You're finding more of a good freaking time in your life in general. Connecting with that joy and that bliss and that inner child. So it's like, there are if there's challenges around you, you be focusing on joy. You be focusing on connection. You're focusing on connecting with your people, connecting with your tribe. Really, you're doing this alchemy right here. And also, helping people around you by being that alchemist too. So you can be this person. You can be this alchemist. You can be this person holding this light and this joy. And it's really spreading around people around you to have a good freaking time. To, for them, to help them move on their current challenges too because you're embodying that essence. You're embodying that essence of joy and of just being a freaking alchemist, focusing on what you want and transmuting. We have carnelian, creative expression, let it through. Cut off old beliefs, the worst is now behind you. So this is really fun energy. This is very uh, uh, revitalizing, like, I feel like anyone who's around you at this time is really gaining, is really benefiting from being around you because you're bringing in the sense of joy and you're bringing in the sense of life and the sense of fun and the sense of vitality and the sense of doing what you love, being like passionate, really embracing life for all that it is. See, the worst is behind you now. You have all this abundance coming in for you. You have a very abundant mindset. You're really living the life right now at this time. It's a good time to be grateful. I'm sure you are very grateful. You've been probably practicing gratitude. If not, that would be a good idea. Uh, so we have this breakthrough coming in. Leap of faith, freedom, and new beginnings. See, the worst is behind you. You've made the breakthrough. You're doing the alchemy. You're doing your thing. You've got soulmate relationship coming in. So with connection people from um, this doesn't have to be like a partner but you may be trying to come into contact right now with people who are from like your soul family so and really doing the thing together doing the alchemy together and finding this through your creativity there's a lot of creative energy right now let me move that reindeer for you you have smoky quartz clearing and miracles. Lots of miracles. I've already read that. Um, I don't know if I read that only in that one. But there's this is like miracle energy right now. You're experiencing a real life miracle right now. And you're really connecting with people who... Or you're really um, trying to do this. You're really bringing things to people into more of a joyful and abundant state and mindset. You're bringing in to the people around you. You're really clearing out any energy which just isn't serving and you're embodying that. You're, you are focusing on what you want. You're focusing on the abundance in life and you're focusing on the pleasures that, that we all have at any given moment. And the amazing thing about being able to feel lack means that there is abundance. So, and that's really the amazing thing about it. And that's, you know, you're doing the alchemy and, um, you know, this is just very exciting energy right now. And you're really coming into these unions with people who, who you really feel this strong connection with. I'm seeing like can the crab cancer energy where you feel a sense of belonging with these people. You're finding your, your people you're finding your tribe, you're finding people who you feel get you, seeking to connect with those people. It's really, yeah, really time for this breakthrough, taking a leap of faith, new beginnings, freedom. We have three, four, six, eight, and 
Let's see what we got in the dice reel. So Taurus energy has to do with like the physical earth, it has to do with sensuality. Uh, Taurus is very artistic, it's um, about your needs, it's about your resources, your possessions, your values. And Taurus is all about your comfortability and your security in the world. So you, you are cutting off old beliefs in terms of in terms of your sense of abundance, like your sense of security, your sense of what you need, and your sense of... I'm also seeing very artistic energy too. I'm seeing like creative, just expressive energy. Very freedom type of energy. And we have freedom right there. So we have the moon, which has to do with your mother. It has to do with your instincts, your emotional needs, what you need to feel comfortable. It's your comfortability. So we have this breakthrough in terms of what makes you comfortable. You're cutting out anything and transmuting it if it's not if it's not fulfilling your emotional needs. Seventh house energy, right here, this is your relationship. Seventh house is your partnerships, it's your relationships. For some people, this was a relationship that you did have to cut out. For some people, this wasn't a soulmate relationship, but for others of you, you're really coming into connecting with someone who is a soulmate kind of connection that you feel. Or really attracting this person in and connecting with them now. So the sun energy, which is, uh, we had the moon and now we have the sun. This is your self-expression. This is your creative your your creative self-expression this is your consciousness this is joy this is vitality this is you this is what you show to the world this is like your light that you shine and we have you shining your light your creative self-expression and we have fourth house energy which is like the moon which has to do with your emotional comfortability so you're finding this emotional comfortability and sense of belonging and security within yourself and not needing to project anything outside of yourself and and this is why you're attracting these people because you're feeling because you have this emotional comfortability within and Sagittarius energy has to do with your beliefs it has to do with your philosophies it has to do with your religions your spiritualities your higher educations gurus um, long distance travel so having Sagittarius land on the smoky courts is we're seeing that you're clearing out old belief systems and that just don't serve you anymore you're making this breakthrough and you're coming into this into your true state of being and your true state of self-expression and you're emanating this light for everyone to feel and it's impacting everyone around you and it's attracting the people to you that are meant to be in your life and so that is the message i have from your soul today your heart and soul I'm just taking a look and seeing is there any is there any other messages from this I'm seeing these link together breakthrough and maker 10 I am seeing you attracting this prosperity into your life because you're really embodying like this energy very joyful um, finding it's you're very secure in yourself so that's what I have for you guys and thank you for watching everyone please comment I really appreciate that and I'll see you next time hello everyone who chose this gray feather so let me move this out of the way actually so this is the messages that we have from your heart and soul so we have solar plexus chakra the frequency of the solar plexus chakra the yellow flower of life supports our sense of self our personal power and our willpower as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole so what i'm feeling for this pile is that you're not you don't really know 
what um, you don't really aren't really aware of your sense of personal power or willpower as to the length and the strength that it is. Um, you might have a, an awareness of it, but I'm feeling like this is a hefty pile right now for some reason. But um, you might not know right now what who you are, what your contribution is to hold. Like you might be struggling with a sense of lack of confidence or low self worth right now, and not just not being confident in what you have to express and what you have to show and your own creative abilities and what you do and who you are. So we have grace. Warrior two is in between, you don't know yet. Dreamer two, you are in between, you don't know yet. The devil. And faith, okay, so. So for this pile, I am seeing the sense that you just don't know, like there's this indecision, you're seeing a black and white picture, you're seeing both sides of things, but it's like, they're still split, you know? There needs to be a balance that comes into place, but it's like you are at this point where you're starting to be like, starting to gain a sense of, okay, like I know I have this and I know I have this, but I just don't know what to do with it. I don't know where to take it. I don't know which path to go down. I'm. It's like a very in-between sense of just not being confident in yourself, like just not knowing all that you have to offer, not really knowing, not knowing what your contribution is. Having the devil here is like kind of something that keeps you bound, like feeling helpless, feeling like you don't really know what to do, feeling like you have to just go with things the way that they are. Because this is like, uh, I do recommend working on your solar plexus. I recommend, you know, um, yellow crystals, or there's a lot of oils, you know, that could help you just look into it and see what's going to work for you. Just working on building up your confidence and your courage in some way. Um, like this citrine right here, this is a solar plexus crystal. It brings you a lot of concentration and joy and happiness. These actually don't absorb any negative energy. Uh, so that's one. That's a, that's a suggestion for you. But, you know, there's just that sense of like having to go with things that the way that they are, but and you just don't, but you don't like the way that things are though. You don't like the way that things are. It's like having to do this thing that you don't want to do. So I'm gonna read you faith, humanity and benevolence. Stay calm, trust in the good in yourself and others, see the light in the world. So you might be focusing a lot more on like your, your unsureties, your insecurities, what you don't know, what you don't have, the kind of the dark in the world, what people, the malicious intense people have, focusing like more on that than the other side of it the other side of the coin, which is all the humanity in the world, all the benevolence in the world, all that you do have to offer, all that you do know. So, oh, we flipped right to faith, okay. So, faith is the archangel who is focused on bringing out our benevolence. She's the twin flame of Archangel Michael and is on a divine mission to help us recognize that humans are basically good and aligned with love. Just like her name, she is all about faith and trust. She reminds us that the world has taught us to believe that we are separate from love and that if we begin to see the good in others, then we will start to cultivate a loving experience with the world around us. So I'm saying for some of you, like you might be looking at the world and just thinking that the world is kind of a terrible place. And like, and you know, I'm not gonna deny at all that there is a lot of darkness in the world. There's a lot of horrible atrocities happening but you know that's not all that life is that's not all that life is um so it's and maybe only like focusing on those things in yourself that you only focusing on the shadow or focusing too much on the shadow or things that you aren't good at rather than all the things that you are just amazing at that you just do so naturally with grace like you have natural talents you have natural strengths and you have natural abilities and so does everyone else so there's no need to there's no need to look at anyone else and compare or be jealous or think that they're doing everything wrong or horrible you know they're gonna do whatever they're gonna do so it's like 
no reason to judge because when you judge another you're judging yourself and if you're saying someone else can't do something then you're kind of saying that you can't do something and it's just like focus on you focus on your natural talents and your natural abilities and what you're so good at you know instead of focusing on all the things that you don't have going for you so lapis lazuli the answers are within meditate psychic visions and dreams are forming your new directions trust what you see so you might be already having kind of dreams that are reflecting this sense you might be having dreams that are reflecting to you exactly what you're trying to figure out right now so it might be ideal to pay attention to your dreams or take some time to yourself and meditate and there's a sense in gaining a new perspective outside of just these these two okay it's either this or that like this lapis lazuli card be telling you that it's it's not just this or that you already know the answer if you just pay attention to all the signs around you reflecting this to you you know the answer and believe in yourself have faith in yourself you know that need to stay calm too um, that's why meditation or something of seclusion something taking your time to just take a little bit of nice time maybe you want to take a shower or something to yourself maybe you get out in nature go and uh, go and swim I mean it's really cold outside it's winter so maybe you have a heated pool or something I hope um, anyway but there's this need for releasing for cleansing releasing purification spiritual cleansing and letting go so it's just letting go of these things that are holding you back these boundaries that that you can slip right out you can slip right out of any limitation and any boundary that you feel that you're in right now and with grace too um just remembering putting your focus back on all the power that you have and all the stuff that you just do naturally how amazing you are that we're making progress like tourmaline shield and retreat so you know just there's just need to take some time to yourself and just reflect on everything um, because to really restore your faith you know stay calm time to just you know release and let go of things purify yourself get some cleansing um, take a get, get in some water hear some sounds of water in some way and surround yourself with kind of blue colors peaceful energy and like really seeing this peacock seeing the beauty in the world seeing the beauty in the world but yeah just if anyone is like trying to push their negativity on you because there might be people around you doing that it's like time to like shed that off let release that um because that's not yours to hold on to and it's really time to go within and reflect on you so that you can recognize your own power so that you can recognize your own natural strengths and abilities and talents and and be able to um and it's not the word confident um be able to be in that own personal power you know and be able to take action on the things that are in alignment with you so i'm going to continue reading faith Stay calm and breathe. You are a divine being of love who has done so much good in the world. You may be going through personal transformations and feel that you are not getting anywhere, but Archangel Faith is drawing close to you beyond the limitations that your ego or fears have created for you. You may be trying to work out whom to trust. First, trust yourself. When you do this and recognize that you are made of love, you attract those who reflect that love and can enjoy true friendships and loving relationships. Know that good is here to stay. So, I feel that's an important message for you is um, for is that you may be figuring out whom to trust. First, trust yourself. Like there's this need to get in with yourself, to get to get in close with yourself right now, and to know yourself and to know your power and to trust yourself and to see your grace and to see your beauty and to see your uniqueness and to see your originality to see all that you have to offer you know 
just a need to shield and retreat for a little bit to to reflect but you're making progress here you're making a lot of progress here this is something that has been in in um, in this going on for a while this has been going on for a bit and you're making progress you're coming into this recognition more now where you can see more joy in your life see the hummingbird right there the hummingbird just does its thing it flies around it's um, it's so free and um, joyful and really just that need to just take this pause and go within and and see your beauty and see your grace Neptune energy has to do with dreams, fantasies, illusions. It's also very spiritual, it's compassionate of a planet, but this entails to me that you're very unclear right now with Pisces energy too. Pisces energy is Neptunian energy as well. It's compassionate, it's spiritual, it can be elusive though. It can, um, it can get into addiction, so there's this need like to go within and to use the this energy to for more like a a spiritual purpose rather like a meditative purpose rather than using it to get lost in fantasies or illusions or addictions and to get very clear with yourself to get real with yourself with yourself um the first house is you it's that i am it's that your approach it's what you do it's your body so this all has to do with you um, get, get with yourself, you know, connect with you and your beauty and your connection. Cancer energy is about your emotional comfortability. It's about your sense of, your sense of security within yourself and comfortability. It's feminine energy, motherly energy, nurturing energy. So that need to find this emotional stability and this emotional comfortability within yourself. And seventh house energy has to do with partnerships, has to do with relationships. So this has to do, you know, you releasing any relationships around you or releasing any sort of things that anyone's placed upon you that aren't, aren't you, that aren't having to do with you and what makes you feel comfortable releasing maybe you know people from your life or people's thoughts or what people think from your from you just shedding it off and connecting with you so with jupiter energy we have um luck growth expansion higher knowledge wisdom so shielding retreating is going to really bring you a lot of expansion and blessings to yourself it's going to bring you an, some some deep wisdom to do this for yourself. Every time I look at this faith card, I think of like that, um, the movie Wally, -E, where he's holding like the boot that has the, the sprout in it. You know, I'm saying that for some reason that I don't know right now, but that also reminds me of Vesta, who is the goddess of the home and hearth, and she holds this inner like spiritual sacred flame and there's a need to connect with that flame there's a need to connect with what's precious to you which is you connect with yourself and see the palm tree you know take a bit of a break connect with nature more and so that's what i have for you guys Thank you everyone for watching. I really hope that this was helpful and please comment. Uh, I'm really grateful for any comments that I receive and I do try to reply. So thanks for watching.